モーニング。サウナやつがの。サウナすの。<笑> so, shall we start?、Um, I've been working for telecom sectors、uh, 24 years. Out of 24 years,、uh, almost 12 years out of Japan. <laughs> so that uh, uh, quite uh, my business style, working style, communication style could be a mixture, hybrid, not like a typical Japanese way. <laughs> so、uh, I think、uh, I can share something、uh, <clears throat> important point through such experience. I will skip this one. So, nowadays, as you know, communication methodology has been developed so much, right? And、uh, in the past, for communication remotely, what you did? Letter. Letter. Someone delivered letter. Mongol Shodan, right? Or more, more, you know, many years ago. Mori, horse was、uh, delivering a letter, right? Then, however,、uh, this transformed to、um, telephone, telephony, telecom Mongolia. Then, it was still fixed phone, then transformed to mobile phone, right? But、uh, still, everybody was saying, by no, by no, direct voice communication. Mainly, right? But it's transformed to smartphone databases, text message, and VoIP.、Yeah. That,、uh, there is、uh, quite a lot of complexity nowadays for communication between two, amongst many, in public. I want to touch on one thing, very interesting thing. This digital communication is really effective and productive. Then, digital communication is very convenient. However, there is one issue. Maybe not one, many issues. Yamari issue. Okay, I will, I will demonstrate. My team, Bacho Girls, asking budget request to me. Good morning. By text message. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good morning, Hamada-san. We need、uh, some,、uh, some hundred million budget for tomorrow's session. The... Hey, Bacha. Good morning, team. I said team. Yeah. <coughs> However, if he s e e directly Understand this meaning team. Of course, what does it mean? Zof Shoro Sun, right? Right? Yes. By text message, I said four character team. Zof Shoro Sun, he understood like this. Geshte, when you ask me directly by face to face. Okay, Hanasan, good morning. Hey, good morning, b a t c h a You know, tomorrow we're going to have a session, but unfortunately we need some extra. Mm-hmm. Can、mm-hmm. you approve some few million for that? Mm-hmm. Can you approve? Team.、Mm-hmm. Do you think I'm agreeing? I'm really saying, Zo Sho Sun. No, right? <laughs> but, digital methodology case, typically, More clearly, you need to explain. How? Sometimes everybody u s e emoji. Or, team. Is, is he going to proceed when he s e e this one? Maybe not, right? This is totally different from face to face direct communication and digital methodology. I think everybody has such experience, isn't it?、Yeah. Email, SMS, or Facebook Messenger, whatever it is, just simple word. But a simple word has different m e a n i n g always. Multiple meanings.、Yeah. That's why now, following the development of digital technology, 
and the digital methodology of communication in parallel more and more direct communication importance has been increasing more. Maybe everybody understand. Hmm. Such kind of thing today I like to touch on sharing session. Because generally communication itself would be conducted unconsciously. Non-intentionally, generally. Of course, a poker game case different, poker face. Or business negotiation case different. You will pretend, you will play a role. But a general conversation, communication case, unconsciously, naturally you're doing, right? That's why <clears throat> today we like to be conscious for communication. How to do it, what is better, what is not good, how to improve, how to develop. That's the main point today. Okay, so that's a, a lot of part. I think, ah, oh, I know that. It's okay. Of course, you should know, as long as you're human. Point is, reminder and refresh by writing, word, listening, hearing, and visually looking at our demonstration. That's important. Okay? Then, <clears throat> Thank you, Bata. Yeah. So, as I said, direct communication, especially by face-to-face, -face, has been, you know, more getting important, as I said. Yeah. Then, to master such communication way, naturally, is a key for us, not you only, even to me for us to improve our business career and improve our human network and develop yourself, ourselves. That's why uh, we write to review today, okay? Barber communication, let's touch on first. Today, I will talk about, I will touch on barber communication and non-barber communication, two sessions. I will include verbal communication case <clears throat> between twos amongst many. What do you have to do? What's the communication? What is the communication? What are you going to do in communication? It's uh, information. Yes. Information. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Communicate your thoughts and emotion to others. This is the basic of communication, right? Of course, sometimes between boyfriend and girlfriend, even without talking, just sitting, somehow communicating. I love you, I know, you love me. <laughs> but generally, generally, verbal communication, what we're going to do is share your idea, thought, emotion, feeling, opinion, request, demand. That is the communication, right? Then, next, <clears throat> find uh, the point where you can share and understand. Important point is, teacher will teach him one way. One plus one equal two. Understood? Yes. But uh, equal communication case, it's not one way. Always find a uh, point where you can share and understand. For example, <clears throat> how are you, Bacha? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I don't think so. What? You are not fine. Is that a communication? <laughs> no. First, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh, you are good, understood. Yeah. Acceptance, understood is important, right? Mm -hmm. It's not one-way communication. You, you are not good. Why do you think? Because I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a stand-up comedy, right? It's not communication. That's why always you can share, you should share and understand what others are saying, others are fearing, demanding, requesting, making opinion, whatever. That's a communication. Next, <clears throat> two 
develop your communication skill like actor and actress. Okay, let's try. How are you, Bacha? I'm good. How are you, Hamasa? Are you really good? Yeah, I'm, I'm having a break. I had just had the breakfast. What is your plan today? I'm gonna have a session in the morning and. I'm communicating, but something strange, right? Robot. Actor, actress doesn't mean please pretend, right? No pretension by bad meaning. You need to share feeling and, uh, you know, you, are ex you have to express your feeling and also, you know, thought, idea. In order to do so, look at them and then, hi, Bacha, how are you? How are you, Hannes? With non-verbal communication, right? Mm -hmm. Smiley. They're asking, and they're looking at him, and body is looking at him. That's a communication, very important, right? But uh, recently, <clears throat> we have bad behavior commonly. That's right. Oh, Madison, good morning, how are you? Oh, Vatya, how are you? Can I ask you something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so do you have any plan tomorrow uh, morning? Oh, what you say? Do you have any plan tomorrow morning? Today? No, tomorrow morning. Ah, uh, tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrestling, right? Hey, but uh, how are you? How are you, Hamadasan? Yes. Can I ask you something? Oh, no problem. Okay, so... Oh, sorry, I have two minutes only. Is that oh, okay? Really? No problem. That's a way. Ne. Like an uh, actor, actress. Ne. Sometimes intentionally you have to do that. Next. To enhance your own trust by other. Okay? If I don't trust my assistant, Bacha, then what will happen? Hey, Bacha, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Uh, good. Yeah. Uh, you stayed late last night? Yeah, I stayed late, uh, late last night because uh, I was doing a presentation. Uh, really? Yes. <laughs> he must have drunk a lot. <laughs> If I don't trust him, if there is no trust between us, amongst people, communication will be broken easily. You have such experience, isn't it? That's why communication case, of course, first important thing is trust each other amongst people, amongst teams, amongst companies. Without that, try to make communication, develop communication, improve communication, impossible. I think. Yeah. Okay, then <clears throat> let's move on. I need to cover a lot today. To become team leader. What does it mean? Communication case always require proactive approach, right? Of course, sometimes reactive is okay if someone's speaking, then if you proactively you stand against that, it's going to be trouble. Communication will be broken. But basically, there should be some trigger. Ne? Trigger means communication build. Let's try. Hey, Bacha, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, yeah, good, good, good. Oh, today you look young, isn't it? Oh, of course. I'm so fresh. Always, uh, you know, you're, you know, when we meet, uh, you're wearing suits. So that's why uh, you look like a business, but today it looks like a student, right? Ah, I want cool, be. man. <laughs> oh, what the, what the, what the? That's a special ring. Oh, yeah. Is that any special? Yes. From someone? Yes. Timo. <laughs> Trying to communication intentionally. I'm uh, trying to build the communication intentionally. I'm reading, right? What's that? Oh, really? And then you look that. I'm sharing opinion, my feeling, right? That's very important for communication. Next. Must do, eh? still. To avoid aggressive and hard attitude from the beginning. I'm sitting in the office, for example. My assistant come. Morning, how are you, sir? What? Uh, can I ask you something? No. Uh, it's quite important. Okay, what's up? Uh, I need uh, vacation approval. Vacation? From the beginning, hard attitude, yeah? 
<laughs> he is afraid. He, want, he may want to have vacation two weeks, but I change the mind、uh, tomorrow vacation. <laughs> nah, communication broken. That's why in the beginning, avoid aggressive and hard attitude. Different. Even if trouble h a p p e n on business, if subordinate is telling a very serious issue, or even your readers and the manager, the boss, whoever instructing very ridiculous order in the beginning, don't react quickly. <laughs> Try to be soft. If so, more deep meaning you may find. I will touch on later. Insight. <clears throat> Thick, some chance of compromise, give and take. Sounds like negotiation, but、uh, communication, as I said earlier, it should be interactive. <laughs> That's why there should be kind of give and take understanding. <laughs> hey, Bacha. I, I, oh, it's already close to 12 o'clock. What are we going to do?、Uh, have lunch? 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 lunch?、Uh, we have one meeting, then lunch. Oh, okay. It's okay.、Uh, where would you like to go for lunch? Shall we go to Shangri La?、Uh, Shangri La is nice. If so, I'd like to have、uh, pasta. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yammer pasta?、Uh, carbonara? Okay. Yeah. I'm not pushing definitely Shangri La. He's not pushing Shangri La. Interactively, give and take. He wants to go Shangri La. Then, if Shangri La, I would like to have a pasta. And the Yamar pasta, he said carbonara, whatever. Interactively, give and take communication. That's very important. <clears throat> Next, distinguish discussion and the persuasion. This is totally different, right? Discussion case. Discuss, talk each other, make one decision toward one goal. Persuasion could be I would like to do this, but、uh, I want to go there. Okay, so、uh, let, let me organize this. No, but you said, you said yesterday you want to go there. But also, because this place is quite cheaper and quite comfortable than this one. Oh, okay. Before p a s s a t i o n he agreed already. That's why it's a p a s s a t i o n p a s s a t i o n case. I want to go there、uh, because I had that. That place is really busy today. And、uh, that place is very vacant. And、uh, we can have lunch quickly. And、uh, I had that the new chef joined. That's why t a s t e change good. p a s s a t i n g right? Not ordering, not instructing, persuading. That's、uh, important in communication.、Eh? Discussion case more his idea, my idea.、Huh. If it's extremely go, like a debate.、Eh? Discussion goes to debate sometimes. <clears throat> okay, this is,、uh, I think, communication basic. Then, <clears throat>、uh, in Mobicom, for sales staff, I'm always、uh, requesting to do some one practice. This is part of communication skill up.、Hmm. Especially sales team, of course, and not only sales team, even management teams. Have you ever heard elevator pitch? Very difficult, yeah? Very difficult. And e l e v a t o r is getting、uh, faster now, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Elevator pitch. For the people here,、uh, never heard、uh, what it's like. I like to introduce it. I think it's really practi good practice for communication. Let's say presentation as well. Elevator pitch, what is that? For example, in the morning, When you come to the office, I am boss. He is someone, employee, right? I came to the office. Ching. I came in. 
Oh, Hamada san, good morning, how are you? Oh, Bacha, how are you? Oh, you look really good today. Oh, thank you. Okay, so, Hamada san, do you watch TV? Yes, I did. So, which device do you use? Oh, MLB last night. Oh, really? So, there's a new content in the market which is called VU. You can use any device. 15 seconds or 20 seconds or 30 seconds. Within short time period, he got chance to talk with the CEO, luckily, coincidentally in elevator. But coincidentally, only two of us joined the elevator, and he had a great chance to talk with CEO directly. So, what he's gonna do? This is elevator pitch. Within really limited short time period, as much as possible, impressive, effective, productive talk. Presentation could be possible. He needs to make. This is called elevator pitch. So that it's not necessary to get on elevator physically, really, right? <laughs> Between two amongst people, you can practice Someone counting time, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, then set uh, some agenda, asking, but uh, please, I'd like to know the Mongolia. Could you please let me know about Mongolia? Yeah, sure. I'll do it. Uh, I'll present. Uh, for example, Mongolia has a 3 million population, which is, mm -hmm. and also it's a really huge land. So, interesting, interesting. Okay, the interesting thing is Mongolia has really beautiful nature, mm -hmm. which doesn't exist in any other country. You can visit it. Okay. He tried right now, right? <clears throat> but, he knows I've been here in Mongolia already five years, right? It's not necessary to tell me three million beautiful company, I know. Wasting time in 15 seconds, 30 seconds, right? He has to image, what do I know? What do I know? Then he image, what Hamada doesn't know. Then what he may be interested in. Then. He, if he talk about some point, impressively, it's coming into my heart, right? But if he talk about Mongolia is a wider country, population is a three million, and then uh, not beautiful nature we have, and the countryside, there are many horses, sheep, cows, blah, blah, blah. I know, I know. Not impressing, right? That's why in elevator pitch case, <clears throat> Basically, you need to image, you need to structure what is the main point, what will be more effective, what will be the more impressive, what will be the very important. So, keyword is effective, impressive, concise. However, you shouldn't speak too fast. Hey, but how are you? What did you do last night? Too fast is not elevator pitch. For that, I think uh, between you and among teams or in company office, please try. If you are given one minute, if you are given 15 seconds, setting a gender and then knowing uh, someone's uh, background, how you can explain. Please practice that. I do it sometimes. Hmm. Okay, <clears throat> next. Key seven factors of successful pitch to understand your theme and the well which you like to present. Of course, storyteller, speaker, whatever, to take this pitch, start pitch, of course, you have to understand fully the topic. If there is ambiguity, you can't tell anywhere, anything, right? and the point rest it may become. Same as the presentation. Presentation is also one of uh, communication, I think. Yeah, interactively. Next, to know the person and the audience to whom you speak. He knows me. I'm living in Mongolia almost five years. Knowing that, then 
if he tell me about Mongolia, that would be totally different, right? Next, to build and design the component of pitch. You can't start with point, main point from the beginning within 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, right? Somehow warm up is important. Then penetrate the point. Then attract the other person and the audience from the beginning. Variety of way you can take. Just standing, talking. No attractive, too much quiet, like robot. But uh, using non-verbal way, motion, gesture, and the uh, distance of the, hi, mm. Bacha. Oh, how are you? This is very important, yeah. in pitch. <clears throat> to install Prague in your speech. Install Prague means each of us working for some particular industry as a business person, right? I'm working for telecom sector. If even though only short time, but uh, if I try to speak quickly using very, very technical word, unfamiliar, unfamiliar word for you, no one will understand, right? Uh, that's why better to change easier word as much as possible, visible, uh, imaginary, imaginable word, easy word, better to use. Uh, same as the presentation. Hmm. Next, control your speed of presentation. Yeah. Always speed, high throttle. No good. Up, down, up. That intonation is very important. Even if it's 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, half hour or whatever. Depending on time scale, control your speed. Then, important thing is practice and feedback. Feedback. Hmm. <coughs> feedback case, they are a very, uh, how can I say, mm, different way to request. We practice, it's not only for elevator pitch. Come here, watch up. Yeah. We do something. Then if I ask, option one, but uh, mm. please let me know. Only negative point. Mm. Good point always you tell me because I'm CEO and you try to say nicer, right? That's why I want to hear only negative point. Mm. But generally speaking, if you request someone else, please let me know negative point. He, she will be afraid to tell. <laughs> right? However, if I ask like this, hey, Bacha, thank you for taking time today. And uh, can you please me give me some suggestion? Ah, really? So you should maybe control your speech, uh, speed. <laughs> if I say, I like to know my negative point, he will be afraid to say, because negative point. But if I say, I like you to give me suggestion, suggestion, he will feel easy to say, right? Oh, I'm gonna say, if you could speak more slowly, or Hamasan, I couldn't understand in the beginning, but uh, easy to say, right? That's why <clears throat> when you request a feedback, don't say directly. Only negative point, please let me know. What was bad? No, 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 no. What would you like to do? What would you suggest to me for my improvement? If so, they feel easy to say feedback. Okay. Next, <clears throat> for communication, one of the important thing is question, question. Because if I ask a question to someone, he's talking, I ask a question, means I'm 
focusing on what you say. I'm really paying attention to you. Question means paying attention, interested in you. If I have no question, I may not be interested in him. I may not be focusing on him or I'm not listening to him. That's why if you make question, question means he feel, oh, he, Hamada is uh, focusing on me, paying attention to my world. He feel comfortable, naturally, psychologically. That's why question is quite important in communication. Eh? I ask a butcher, oh, is that a special ring for something? I ask a question. He likes it. That's why he's wearing today. That's why, oh, maybe he, he, it might be his special. That's why better to ask question that he will be happy. Oh, this is my special from girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. Communication will continue. That's why not only private life, but also business scene, wherever question is really good. And the question will create good communication. So such question is called power question. Power question. Then power question, I will demonstrate one thing more. Um, here's my stuff. I'm asking the this month's business performance result, okay? This month's okay? Ah, uh, yeah, it's around, <coughs> KPI is around 98%. This is just uh, their thing, simple number, right? Fact he knows. This month's okay, yes, that's it. Then number is this, that's it. Close the question, close the question. However, communication purpose, if I ask differently, Butcher, why do you think this month was okay? Uh, because we did lots of campaigns and promotions, you know. Mm, the Amaru campaign. You know, the SIM card spreading, data promotion. Why do you think this promotion was matched with the market demand. Because the demand, people now, now is using more data. Why do you think so? Because it's the trend. I am asking, why do you think? How do you think? Open end question is, not just that he's telling to me the fact, are you okay? Yes, that's it. This is cross question. But open ended question is, you look tired, what happened last night? Why you look tired? He's thinking to answer. Ne. Today, we are demonstrating, that's why he's answering somehow quickly, right? He knows uh, how I demonstrate <laughs> from the beginning. Then I will return. That's an open-ended question. Continuously. That's a very important for communication in question. So in our meeting, quite often I ask question, why, what, where, how, especially why. At least three times I ask, why, why, why. Logic three. Then, deep meaning will turn up. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody don't like it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe uh, I run quite first. Then, uh, verbal communication. Direct communications, verbal communication. Uh, I covered all. Any question? Can I go move? Can I move forward? Okay. Next, non-verbal communication. 
Non verbal communication. <coughs> non verbal communication is one of very important factors between twos or amongst peoples because without non-verbal communication only if it's only verbal communication it's really difficult to convey real message smiling angry crying and uh, laughing I don't know, comfortable, relaxing. Facial expression. Facial expression is coming from naturally feeling, human feeling, right? And then, depending on culture, society, or background, uh, some of people have less facial expression, and others have a really strong expression. And uh, it might be misunderstanding, but uh, my personal perception is well, Eastern European people, Russian people has less facial expression. They don't laugh much, smiley, right? Latin people <coughs> quite, you know, face, facial expression is a very variety, right? In Japan, same. North part, South part, totally different. North part is a quite uh, less facial expression. South part quite variety. I feel, I feel. It may be wrong, but uh, my personal perception is right there. Maybe weather effects. I think so. Yeah. Culture, climate, or whatever. Variety of factors will be behind, I think. Then, gesture. Mm. Gesture. Just without standing. Uh, sorry, without gesture, just standing and talking, or with gesture, impression is different, right? Or sometimes, even without talking, speaking to someone else, just by gesture, <laughs> somehow a message will be conveyed, right? I'm not talking about uh, signing language, gesture. Gesture and the sign uh, difference is. Sign has clear meaning, or signing language is a quite clear meaning, right? Or military and police, they have a gesture, right? A sign, sign, sign. Gesture is more like, a, uh, I don't say meaningless, but the less clear instruction direction meaning. Eh? Then, this gesture, we have to be very, very careful. Yeah. In Japan, very young ages, when they take photo, they do like that. If you do that in Greek, you're going to get punched. <laughs> Greece. Greece or your, some European countries. It means F. F. Uh, F. Or, uh, okay, when you do, uh, okay, oku, oku. In Japan, people do that. Oku, oku. Ne. Some of the country, this means whore. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> okay. In Japan, when we are talking, <coughs> this means uh, girlfriend or girlfriend or unethical uh, girlfriend, something like that. What kind of girlfriend? Unethical lover. Ah, welcome. <laughs> ah, welcome. <laughs> so depending on culture, depending on society, different. Gesture means different, so we have to be very, very careful, especially international communication case. Yeah. Next, body language. It's a quite common, eh? naturally coming from uh, body, body emotion. And like, haira, uh, haira, haira, naturally, body language. Yeah? 
モーション。あの、almost same ね、モーション。But a very interesting story I have. In Mobicon, we had、uh, 15 or 20 Indian engineers last year. And the way they went back to the country because of the COVID restriction. And、uh, then, very interesting. Amongst teams, our teams and the Indian teams, they are having discussion, technical engineers, right? Indians say, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> right? Generally, maybe Mongolia is saying, sounds like no, right? Like that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Then, without saying yes in the meeting, they're doing like this. No, Bavari is saying, no, without saying Bavari, yes. Like a nod, right? Agreeing, right? <laughs> again and again, talking. <laughs> why don't you understand? That's why this is because blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Endless. <laughs> But now our engineer team knows it. <laughs> This meaning is yes. <laughs> Some of my engineers started doing like that, right? <laughs> More complex. Is that the Indian meaning or is that the Mongolian meaning? Which is. It's not joke, seriously. But、uh, <laughs> non verbal communication case, we have to be careful. Especially international communication case.、Yeah. Okay, let's move on. <coughs> For non verbal communication, I think everybody knows what's important eye contact.、Yeah. For example, between boyfriend and girlfriend, of course, eye contact is very important. Same on business, right? Next, facial express. Better to show as much as possible, I think. Smile angry or melancholy or crying sad, sallow.、Hmm. Hmm. Because this facial expression is very important for observation, observation for others.、Yeah. Of course,、uh, when you do a poker game, it's totally different. Or when you have business discussion or negotiation, sometimes you have to play,、uh, you know, like a poker game, right? Poker face. Looks happy, but actually, trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Next, motion of head and face.、Yeah. Hmm. Body motion, yes. Posture. Or like that. Posture. It's very important.、Eh? Distance and the positioning. Too close to talk <laughs> sometimes makes aggressive or different, some strange relationship or something like that. But、uh, appropriate distance,、eh? very important. But I think、uh, this is also different from. Are different depending on the culture, society, and background,、uh, I think. I feel Latin people quite close.、Yeah. But uh, Japan uh, keep distance somehow, like a COVID. <laughs> 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 From the beginning, keep distance. <laughs> Physical contact,、yeah? sometimes important. <clears throat> uh, here's my staff. He's、uh, sitting here, right?、Mm -hmm. Then I come to the office. Hey, Bacha, how are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you? Good, good.、Yeah. This one. Next one. Oh, Bacha, how are you? Oh, how are you? Sometimes, appropriate, by appropriate manner, Physical touch makes more good mood. That, but、uh, please don't misunderstand. It's not a sexual meaning. Physical touch, even between male and female, both on the you know,、uh, employee, certain level of physical touch may make s better communication as a non verbal. <laughs> It's true. Or, 
uh, from a very old gentleman, old lady is uh, walking. Then, are you okay? Ne. That's why, <coughs> by appropriate manner and timing, uh, physical touch will make uh, effective communication. Next, visual appearance, looking and physical looking. Yes, 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 yes. This is a part of non-verbal communication. Ne. If I come here today wearing short pants and sandal and tank top, then a lot of, uh, you know, how can I say, funny here after sweep. How do you think? <laughs> Quite hard, yeah? From the beginning, communication will be broken. That's why <coughs> appropriate appearance, looking and physical looking will be better. But I don't say beautiful and handsome. It's not the point. Mm. Yes, decent. And TPO, time, place, occasion. I'm not wearing suits today because I heard that everybody will be coming casual. Then if I'm standing wearing suits and a tie and a shiny shoes, how do you feel? Feels some distance between us, right? But I'm not wearing sandals and short pants and a tank top because this is kind of business session, training session. TPO, time, place, occasion, is very important for communication. Next, <clears throat> timing and synchronization. Okay, create situation, time and occasion is also part of non-verbal communication, right? He's really busy right now. Then when I come, hey, Bacha, uh, I need you. Can we talk now? Can sorry, we talk now? Sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. I need to talk with you. Not comfortable, sorry. I'm not talking about a babble thing. I'm talking about the timing. Very bad, right? Wait, 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 wait. Then right timing, approach, talk, start. It's a very important. Then you can synchronize with him. Then speech balance, talk and listening. I am quite the talk side, <laughs> rather than listening side. I, I, I know my bad behavior, mm. but uh, balance of talk and listening is very important. Yeah. If it's only talking, they feel uh, pressure and the uncomfortability, frustration. Yeah. Then, let's focus on listening a little bit more. Listening has two types. Yeah. One is more like a hearing. One is listening. Reactive listening, almost like a hearing, right? Listening music. Just uh, from uh, you know, speaker phone into your ear and the brain and feel comfortable, excited. Yeah. Proactive listening. Proactive listening. It's different from this hearing type of listening. Proactive listening is someone is trying to say, not just into ear. That voice is coming into brain through ear, then try to understand what he's saying is proactive listening. Yeah. Then <clears throat> I say, how are you, Bacha, today? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? He said I'm good. Mm, good, good, I understand why he is good. <laughs> <laughs> like this image. Né? This is proactive listening. Trying to understand what, why, how, why he is saying, why he is, he did, he does. That's a proactive listening. Listening to others is one of the important factors to build well communication. It is one of the part of non-verbal communication skill, listening. Then, <clears throat> <coughs> oh, 
quite often we forget listening partner. Then one of our idea is that um, in order to make proactive listening habit, when you talk someone, when you have a discussion or meeting, I try to ask a question, even one or two. In order to make a question, definitely you need to listen to others proactively. Right? That's why only rule is make a question. If so, naturally you will definitely listen to him or her. That rule I have. Hmm. Sometimes too many questions, they don't like it. <laughs> Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Then <clears throat> next proactive listening requires a practice. I told everything. Then uh, to make calm down your feeling and emotion at first. Let's say timing and the time there. Uh, if I'm very busy, even if he comes, I can't listen. And then after meeting, next meeting is immediately coming. In that case, it's impossible I listen to them, especially after big trouble or issues, right? That's why in that case, <clears throat> sometimes I skip next meeting when I feel bad. Because I'm also a human being, that's why it's sometimes difficult to change emotion quickly. If so, better to postpone next meeting. Quite often I change. If I have a big trouble or issue on business and a heavy, severe meeting we have, and then very trouble, emotionally difficult to switch back to normal mode. That's why in that case, half hour later, one hour later, postpone, as much as possible, I change the schedule quite often, right? It's a one way of non-verbal communication skill, I think. Then, sufficient speech in your swell, catch and understand information, meaning and the nuance and between conversation, of course. <clears throat> then, make your time to listen. Time control and management is listening skill. Feeling control. If you have difficulty to control feeling, just change schedule, postpone, skip. That's the best way. Non-verbal communication case, there are another factors. <clears throat> One is, depending on person type, different way you need to take. For example, if someone is a straight person or associate type, straight type or associate type, Associate type is more reactive type of person. Ne, more supporter type of person. Ne, straight type person is more instructive person, and the director's person. Depending on the person type, the way how to communicate should be totally different, right? Directive person versus direct person. It's very difficult to communicate. That's why sometimes step back if he is directive person, wait. That uh, atmosphere you need to create. This is a part of the uh, non-verbal communication skill. Then next one is very important. Sight perception type, language perception type, auditory perception type. Depending on person, how to understand the situation and the fact is totally different, right? For example, <clears throat> just image. Butcher, Ashman Shistan, go to Teddy, Teddy store. And uh, can you image from here to Teddy? It's really difficult to so draw on a whiteboard to make it so very clear. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you just go from uh, here, then uh, it's better to use iPhone maps. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I think a very, very uh, sight perception type. Yeah. Some people are different. He imaged a uh, map, 2D map, right? The some of people actual 3D real image. Oh, here is a central tower, then Suhubata Square, and then some of people like this. And the other people really like that. From here to Suhubata Square, maybe five minutes, and then from Suhubata Square to the Flower Center, maybe 10 minutes, and then from Flower Center to uh, Mongol Bank, maybe three minutes from Mong calculating number. The person by person, when I ask the same question, different image they have. The type, perception type is different. That's why, depending on that, better to change communication way. If someone is a really logical person, like my boss in Tokyo, always numbers, and then why, 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 why? That's why when I talk with them, prepare the numbers, and also as much as possible detailed uh, information, then anticipated the question, answer, question, answer. Right? However, some other bosses say, just a call, oh, how, how are you? Are we doing well? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. This sounds very energetic, I can say positive sound through phone. He understand. Okay, I got it. Ting. <laughs> Depending on type, different. That's why we need to change case by case. Ne? That's a non-verbal communication. Then, almost one hour. Give me five minutes. <clears throat> And depending on your type, you can choose your own best way to listen to others. Yes, same. <clears throat> in addition to time management, environment and place is important, right? If we have this meeting, maybe in center of Suhubata Square, it would never happen, right? <laughs> yeah. Bar. Yes, or bar, <laughs> having a drink. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Uh, location and the environment around you is also part of non-verbal communication skill and the technique. I don't want to say technique only, but uh, it's a one of way, effective way. And no last minute preparation in rush. Every day, someone come to my room, Hamasa, I need you an uh, you know, idea. I'm not ready. <laughs> the appropriate time and warming up is important sometimes. Then, extended five minutes, I'd like to talk about observation and the insight. Because those two are very important for effective direct communication. Obse ob observation, what is that? Observation itself is uh, just a raw data as it is, you, as, as you can see here. He is wearing black shirts and uh, like a uh, very young style cool jeans and those adidas sneaker this is observation observing right only fact but in detail ne? insight what is insight insight is coming from deep observation insight is subjective deeper interpretation and understanding of what you are seeing and hearing inside. Very casual and uh, sneaker, jeans and accessory as well, even in training today. This is objective fact. Insight is, ah, he might go dating with the girlfriend after to this training. This is insight. Ne? Or he's wearing that uh, you know, accessory here. The reason why he's wearing that is maybe he likes it. He likes to show it. He likes to show it means he likes to have some nice word from someone else. Then, oh, Bacha, is that the special ring? 
This is insight from observation. Very important, right? Let's try observation. What can you say about this lady? Observation. Andy. Yeah, she's wearing a yellow dress, yes. belt, yes. um, a necklace, yes. and a big bag. Yes. Yeah. Looks like Louis Vuitton color, right? Yeah, maybe. <coughs> she's she's going to drink tonight. <laughs> she's going to drink tonight, That's right? Inside. 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 <laughs> Observation is uh, oh, like eh? <coughs> the more deep of observation. More deep observation. Deeper. Detail. She might be rich. Yeah, it looks yeah. like that. Nah, yes, obviously it looks like rich, right? A lot of expensive things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. From that observation, objective fact and the information, the raw data, what we can do in citing is, my case, let me demonstrate. She is wearing ring, maybe, but not this ring. Here, here. Uh, maybe she is not married. This is one insight. She is not married and she doesn't have boyfriend. That's why she's intentionally wearing sexy dress <laughs> to get attention by, yes, boy, someone. <laughs> That's an insight, right? It's a fact, right? Then, She's wearing a very sexy dress and showing a body in a shape. Maybe tonight she's going to party to get attract the attention by boy. Then another one. Very thick makeup. But face doesn't look happy. Maybe she's alone. <laughs> this is inside, inside. <laughs> Sorry. Communication case. This is very important. Another part of uh, She has a lot of uh, luxury in an accessory, right? Maybe too much. But why she's wearing such luxury a lot too much? She's showing off, obviously, right? If so, she's thinking, look at me, look at me, look at me. If so, if we are here, oh, nice tax, it looks very expensive, isn't it? She's waiting for that word. <laughs> Insight. That is uh, important for communication. Not just surface, only objective fact and enforcement. Same. Even if he say yes, but yes means variety of meaning there might be behind the objective word. Another example. She say, thank you for coming. I'd like to see you again. Guy say, oh, I appreciate for that. Goodbye. Get it. In the heart, she's thinking, I don't want to see him again. <laughs> then he said, she said, uh, what, what she said was, <clears throat> thank you for coming. I'd like to see you again, right? Objective fact. But uh, he got as it is. She must be interested in me. <laughs> but, Different, right? <coughs> this is insight difference. He is just a thing, objective situation, what he see, what he is hearing. But reality, her insight is just saying in the heart, no, I don't want to see him anymore. But by bar what by word she is saying politely goodbye. Of course, people never say, don't come again. 
right? <laughs> Don't come again. That's why communication is all 100% mismatch in this case. That's why to see insight is based on observation. Observation case, very, very detailed. Every single facial expression, every single word, you need to catch up. Otherwise, you may make big mistake. I have a lot this kind of situation. <laughs> Exactly this. <laughs> Maybe Ela is a different. <laughs> mm. So, insight. Uh, let's brush up as our skill. Mm. Uh, quite a lot of uh, you know such story we have in Japan. Japanese people don't show the real feeling. They this situation. You can come anytime, this is your home. Then other guys come really next time. <laughs> then, oh, he comes really. <laughs> More like a, uh, in a deep meaning, different meaning. This is also depending on culture, society difference. I think different. Western people, yes is yes, no is no. Mongolia maybe that's Yes. <laughs> Sometimes it even be complicated. <laughs> but uh, <coughs> deep insight. Deep insight. What's, what's your uh, you know, way to communicate? Do you communicate like a Japanese with some other deep meaning? Depending. Depending. Oh, depending. Try to distinguish. Depending on the other person or depending on the situation? <coughs> depending on the situation, yes. Okay. That's why observation is uh, very important. Definitely, there might be even small or tiny uh, clue will be there. You need to catch somehow. She said this word. Atmosphere was really bad, but in the end, she smiled. One single moment, grab the catch. <laughs> Very inside. But uh, I have to be careful and. Uh, Sometimes such insight becomes imagination. <laughs> Too much insight. Too much insight. <laughs> Exaggerating by, him, by myself. Positive way, positive way. It's a different matter though. <clears throat> so, uh, skill up insight. To practice through your daily communication with others, many, as many as possible. Better to talk, better to communicate with a variety of people than uh, experiences, I think, important, are feeling by five senses. Then to pay much attention to others always. What's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference? Yeah. Curiosity. And to be patient not to make decision quickly. Better to wait, step back. Because emotion will come first. Emotion will uh, damage inside ability. Always. Proactively try to drive others' real intention. Almost like a coaching. Né? So, I think I covered all today's uh, topic, what I wanted to convey. And uh, excuse me, I spent over spent 10 minutes uh, almost. But uh, I hope some of part uh, reach to your uh, idea and mind, heart. And uh, then I also had a good time to review and remind myself. Thank you very much. Thank you.